Welcome back to the Arkansas Traveler. Today I thought I would try and answer a question I've seen asked online a few times comparing the pros and cons of the Front Runner flat pack storage box and the Step 22 Stingray flat box. Now, to give you a couple of quick bits of information, this Stingray, when it's in stock, currently costs $90. And they do have an, a heavy-duty version of it that is for $100 uh, that offers a few extra features I'll talk about in a minute. However, the Front Runner flat pack box costs $42.95 at the time of this video, and it is available in stock on their website. So, can the Front Runner flat pack box really compete with the Step 22 at half the price? Well first let's start by comparing dimensions. As you can see both flat pack boxes are roughly the same size. Now to give you specifics as quoted by the website the front runner box measures at 17.1 inches long by 12.2 inches wide by 7.9 inches high. For comparison, in the same dimensions, the Step 22 is 17 inches long, 12 inches wide, and 8 inches high. As you can tell, the dimensions are very, very similar. Uh, total interior volume, because the exterior dimensions are slightly larger, the front runner box is approximately 23.3 liters, whereas the Step 22 box is only 21.1 liters. The front runner box weighs in at 3.7 pounds, whereas the Step 22 weighs 2.2 pounds, so it is significantly lighter. When folded up, which is how these both arrive, the front runner box is 28 and a half inches long by 15 inches wide by 1.5 inches high, whereas the Step 22 box packs down a little tighter at 17 inches long by 12 inches wide by two inches high so it actually fits within its footprint when packed flat. Now most people probably won't be breaking down and reconstructing these boxes very often but it is a handy feature if you plan on emptying out the boxes and putting them in storage or perhaps traveling um, somewhere with an empty box that you plan to fill later with materials it'll take up substantially less space uh, folded up uh, with the Step 22 box versus the Front Runner box. Now, as far as materials and construction, they are somewhat different. Let's start with the Front Runner box. It is, according to the website, 600 denier polyester exterior with a vinyl interior that we'll take a look at soon. Whereas the Step 22 box is a thousand denier nylon with a water repellent coating on the outside as well as an Antron yarn interior. Both are YKK zippers in fact. You can see the logo there but only the Step 22 has zipper pulls with reflective parts on it. On the exterior the front runner has handles on the top, front, both sides and on the back. It also has a small window where you can insert pre-printed signs to identify what is inside. These are about the size of a credit card so you could easily print your own. There is a plastic window here to offer some protection. For comparison the Step 22 box 
has a handle on top, front, both sides, but not one on the back. It has these hook and loop fastener labels that peel off and can be written on with markers. You can purchase more of these from the Step 22 website for a small fee. And it has positions not just on the top or the front, but also both ends for these labels so that you can see the label no matter which way you may be storing the box. Now let's take a look at the interior of the front runner flat pack box. You'll notice that it comes with a divider that attaches to the walls with hook and loop fasteners very easily. It is somewhat shorter than the rim of the box itself and what that allows is for a little expansion of these pockets that are in the lid. Uh, they do have two mesh pockets and one regular full zip pocket. The mesh pockets have Velcro attachments so you can easily see what's in it and get at it with very little trouble. The zip pocket does have gussets to allow for a limited amount of expansion in them and the material seems reasonably sturdy. The interior of the bottom is mostly vinyl lined with some loop style velcro fasteners on either wall here uh, the rest being vinyl which should make it pretty easy to clean out now let's take a look at the step 22 flat pack box stingray on the inside you have a very similar layout again you have a included divider uh, and it attaches in a very similar fashion however as you can see there is a ring of hook and loop loop style fasteners around the interior bottom compartment as well as a small patch on the lid uh, as I understand it there will be some accessories from step 22 that can be attached to these to keep them from rolling around inside of your bag, including attached to the center divider. Of course, if you don't need the center divider or don't want the center divider, you can remove it and just attach it to the Velcro patch here or against the wall. It's very easy. And similar to the front runner, there is a gap between the top of the divider and the rim of the box to allow for storage in the zippered pocket to expand on the lid. Again, you have a very similar feature to the front runner, a zippered pocket that is a little bit deeper than the front runner, but you do not get the two mesh pockets that the front runner has. These are the bottom panels of the Step 22 and the front runner box. You'll notice that the Step 22 box is smooth and flat on the bottom whereas the front runner these are where some of the velcro style closures that help build the structure of the box are found so when you're sliding something in and out of the back of your truck you're more likely to catch and undo these strips whereas they are more protected by curving around and riding up the side in the stingray box now additional features that I haven't yet mentioned on each of these front runner makes what they call a wolf pack plastic hard sided storage box and the flat pack box when fully assembled will fit inside of that weather sealed wolf pack front runner box. Step 22 doesn't have such a uh, hard sided storage box that the Stingray would fit into. 
Now, neither of these boxes are weatherproof. I would not recommend these riding on the outside of your vehicle or being left out in the rain as both will get completely soaked. These are not water sealed. The zippers are not protected in any way. And so they will absorb rainwater or if they're dropped in a pond or a river, they will get soaked. These are intended for interior storage, although of course you can pull them out of your truck quickly uh, to access your items in an organized fashion and then put, pack it back up when you're ready to go. The outside of the front runner box is polyester, whereas the outside of the Stingray box is nylon. 600 denier polyester versus 1,000 denier nylon. Those that know much about materials know that the polyester is a weaker material. It will not be as durable as the nylon of the Stingray box. Similarly, on the inside of the front runner is plain vinyl. And though it should offer some durability, it likely will not compare to the toughness of the Antron yarn woven lining on the inside of the Stingray. Additionally, the Stingray comes in an HD heavy-duty version for an additional $10 that offers an even more robust interior in case you need to haul things with sharper corners or edges or that are a little bit heavier such as tools. As it is, either one of them should suffice pretty well for normal material storage uh, as long as you're not expecting them to be waterproof or weatherproof. Both are reasonably lightweight, easy to carry with the handles. Um, I do find that the Step 22 Stingray is more well built, better designed, but ultimately they're just boxes and they function pretty well either way. One thing I will note, though these have some rigidity to them, the front runner is a little more rigid when it comes to stacking than the front runner stingray is. However, neither of these are designed to be stacked on top of each other as the walls of the sides will readily collapse. Stingray and other Step 22 gear is notoriously difficult to purchase over the last few years due to supply chain difficulties. This is assembled in Vietnam from materials made around the world, including some materials made in the U.S. The front runner uh, does not specify where it is manufactured, but I would assume likely China. Lastly, in my opinion, I think you will do well with either one of these boxes. Um, it really boils down to your budget, and if you have a particular feature that you find appealing on one or the other, but uh, I would encourage you to investigate either one of these as good initial options. And of course, there's no rule against mixing and matching, particularly since they take up uh, almost the exact same footprint.